Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are live, streaming direct from Haribo 69 Kitchen in the middle of Redford, Nottinghamshire. Welcome along! Welcome along to a crazy Saturday vlog. I had no idea I was going to do one today, but I've just got that feeling inside me. Gemma's singing! <laughs> you got the feeling as well, chick? I got the feeling. Yeah, come on, let's see those moves. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, uh, we've just got back from the super duper market. Morrison's, it's not that super duper. I actually got caught in there buying some Stella. <laughs> I imagine that. But, fear not, I've come home and I'm drinking vacant gesture. Don't believe me? I'll prove it to you. Check this out. All you homebrewers out there. Love a little bit of the uh, homebrew tap action. And that's what we've got over here. So I'll just top her up. Oh yes, baby. And this is probably one of the best batches of vacant gesture that I've brought home in a long time. So I gave some of this to Liam as a fresh work kit. And if his has turned out as good as this, freaking right, but you're in for a right treat. Cheers, folks. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. Oh, fantastic. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place. It's not going to be um, very instructive in any way, shape or form, but I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I'm actually doing today. One of them, of course, is taking some advice on the jerky front. We are drying here at 55 degrees C and inside we've cut the jerky a little bit thicker so we'll see how this this batch turns out and I've also done a costing on this so all the beef in there cost me 13 quid plus electricity sauces marinade all that kind of stuff all added on comes to about 16 pound so we're gonna try and figure out how much it costs per gram of jerky so if we're gonna sell this stuff in the pub in the future we need to know uh, so yeah, we've got the jerky on the go there. Then I fancied making some sausage rolls. So let's go and do that. So one of the reasons we shot down to the supermarket is because I ain't rolling my own puff pastry. Frig no sir. So we've been down and picked some up. In fact, I got some of the home brand stuff as well. It was about 60p cheaper and I thought, well, there's an extra 55 grams in this pack. And yeah, usually the home brand stuff is just as good as the branded stuff, if not better. So yes, we've got that for some sausage rolls that we're going to make for today. Um, I've got fresh coriander, cilantro, <laughs> and some organic tomatoes, vine ripened. They were cheap. I only not I didn't buy them because they're organic. I bought them because they're cheap. So we're going to be having. Uh, chicken curry later on tonight but I'll not bore you with the making of that also here's a slight update on the drying of the fruit pineapple nice apple nice orange not not for me melon not for me so oh god it smells fantastic though, I must admit but yeah not the kind of thing that I could snack on personally uh, so I'm digressing massively in this vlog, I don't know how I'm going to edit it for you folks, so uh, come along on a ride with me to make some sausage rolls and uh, yeah, we'll get a little bit beard up on the way. Why not? Cooking at home with beer in your belly. That sounds good enough to me. So I'll reposition the camera. We'll uh, lay out all the ingredients, all the sausages I'm going to be using. They're just the normal butcher style sausages, two for three pound in Morrison's. I'm going to basically take the skin off them and then lay the sausages in a long line on the pastry. And then it's going to go in the oven. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it'll be very, very nice. So uh, let's get on with it. Can you edit out the talking? No, I can't edit out the thanks, bud. 
<laughs> edit out the talking. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would like me to. But you know what? You've just got to roll with it. You've got to take your time. you got to say what you say. Don't let sausage roll get in your way. Baby. Okay. So there we have una sheet of a puffa pastrea. And then what we're going to do is figure out how much it's going to take for us to roll up a sausage roll. I think half a sheet. So let's take a knife. Let's uh, see if we can't find the centre of this about there. I think that's about good enough for me. And then we're just going to go straight down the middle of the pastry. So this is the Just Roll pastry. This is the branded stuff. Sausage roll. There we go. Ready rolled, put pastry sheet, and just roll. Very nice. So, there's that bad boy. So we'll just put that off shot quickly. And then we'll get into the Morrison's own brand. Their puff pastry ready rolled. Already looks a different colour. Maybe it's the packaging. Maybe this is in grease proof. I don't know. Yes, it is. It's in a different coloured package. Oh my goodness. It's like I'm rolling a meat cigarette. Just check that out. It's a little bit drier as well. It feels slightly drier, this one. I wonder wonder if they're all frozen at uh, point of manufacture. I don't really know. So, same thing. We'll see if we can find the centre. Probably around there. And then we'll just drag the knife across again. Don't have to be perfect, we're making sausage rolls. And then, yeah. I wonder, then. Let's get into one of these packs of sausage. There we go. We're in, like sin, in the sausage bin. Come on, my lad. Right then, let's just get a couple of sausages out and yeah, see exactly how much sausage we need. I think we're going to be doing probably uh, three and a half sausages per Morrison sheet. That's good enough for me. Let's quickly blast these out. So what's the best way to do this? Probably split them all. So I don't end up making a mess. I'm not putting any other additives in this either. Because I don't often make sausage rolls. So um, what I don't want to do is use something like, let's say, uh, an apple and pork sausage which might be really nice in a sausage roll but I won't know if uh, the sausage roll is good or bad um, and if it's due to the sausage or the flavourings you know so let's get the principle down first with doing the basic stuff and then once we know what we're doing we'll be able to play around a little bit more in the future with like maybe the next batch if we do another batch I think we probably will like but it is literally cook along with Harry because um, you know I'm experimenting here you're seeing live experimentation coming straight off the rail this is not being set up prefabricated or even um, <laughs> rehearsed at all. 
So if it goes Pete Tong, it's gonna go Pete Tong live. Recorded live, there we go, look. If it was recorded and scripted, I wouldn't have dropped that sausage skin on the floor. All right, this is taking me a bit longer than I thought, so let's just fast forward a little bit. All right, so we've got this uh, laid out now, and uh, Gemma's assisting with skinning the rest of the sausages. So I've just got a little bit of water in this cup with my meaty fingers and I'm just going to wet down one side of this uh, pastry. Like I said, I've never done this so I don't know if it's going to work or not but that to me looks like how you'd make a sausage roll with the seam at the bottom pinch the ends in keep all the juices in there whilst we're cooking I think that's about right you're just doing one big sausage roll yeah and then we'll cut them well we can cut them before we put them on the uh, what's it called the baking tray but don't you think it's a lot easier to make it like this because mm. you're just making one long roll it's, it's it's just time saving, isn't it? It looks, it certainly feels easier. There we go. So, that's another one rolled over. Beethoven. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, maybe I should just get a baking tray out now. And uh, chop these bad boys up. So, let's just make a quick reminder that the brown paint, parchment paper, parchment paper, was the Morrison's own pastry, and the white parchment paper is indeed the just roll pastry. So I'll just get this one rolled up. We'll pop them in oven at around. I think it called for. Uh, about 370 Fahrenheit, about. Uh, not sure what that is in Dungaree science, which is what I would normally use. Uh, but I'm sure those of you out there can just do a simple conversion on the Googler. 200 degrees, folks. That's for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 200 C for 400F. There we are. Is this going to be greaseproof paper suitable for the oven? Should be, shouldn't it? Yeah, I'm sure I've used it before. Right, let's get that other baking tray. Would you do me a favour, honey? Mm -hmm. You slide the tray under. Hold on. Yeah. Better not take any risks. You slide the tray under. I lift it. Beautiful work. Look at that for teamwork, folks. And you check it out. So, I think a bit of. You reckon a touch of egg wash on the top, and they're ready for the oven. So here we have just roll sausage unt. In front of the vacuum gesture being consumed at home is the Madison's own brand pastry sausage rolls. They will be going shortly into the oven and then very shortly after that into my belly. <laughs> oh, they've been in the oven at uh, about 180 degrees C for 45 minutes and we're going to turn it off. And bring them out. Check this out. Oh my goodness. I think we have some beautiful looking sausage rolls. Oh look at these. Now I am pleased as punch with both batches. Let's just turn them round a touch so we can get them onto the tray. Look at them. So, hey, get, get out of it, you. 
Get back, it's hot, you burn your fingers. <laughs> so either the sausage has expanded a little bit. You see on these little sections here. Oh, the pastry shrank, I assume the pastry shrank. So they all look like they've got little pokey out bits on the end. You know, think of that as you will. But they're way, way, way too hot. Oh, they're very tender. The flaky pastry is flaky. But they're way too hot to eat at the moment. So, let's give these 15, 20 minutes to cool down. And I'm going to eat some on camera. And then, uh, make you all jealous because you don't have any sausage rolls. Get out of it! Bloody hell. You, isn't it? Look at you. Chocolate's not enough, is it? <laughs> You're a food fiend. <laughs> okay, we've had a bit of time. The sausages have cooled down, and yes, indeed, they look fantastico. Fantastico! In fact, while I'm here, I might as well get a cracking thumb. Abby! Cracking thumbnail. Right, so I've got a thumbnail, so let's bring across. This is the Just Roll sausage roll, and this is the Morrison's own brand DOS sausage roll. So let's just get focused in. Not sausage roll, uh, pastry. Get it right, lad. So, in half, in half again. Just like that. Oh, well. The Just Roll pastry is softer to cut. Sorry, the Morrison's pastry is definitely softer to cut. The just rolls a bit firmer. And the just rolls a bit darker as well. Right. Back up, Squiddlers. We've... Uh... So, because it is sausage rolls, uh, and who doesn't like a good sausage roll? We've got plenty of tasters here. So... We're going to go in for the Morrison's own one first. Okay. Well, all falling apart. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a bit of review. Nice. It's, it's good, but I'll, I'll say the pastry's like, it's not too thick. It's too flaky, isn't it? Mm. Is that enough for you? Yeah, I took two bites. We're gonna do that one next. Yeah. This one kind of draws apart. Top falls apart. And then the just roll one. Mmm. Mm. Bloody lovely. Hot, hot. Oh, well, I have to say, look at Abby, you little starlet. <laughs> I have to say, the Just Roll pastry was the winner for me because it held together better. It wasn't as flaky and uh, it looked nicer. It browned better. Oh. I've only eaten half a sausage roll, feel stuffed. Anyway, that's it. That's all we're gonna do for today's vlog. It's actually getting quite late and we should be uh, settling down for the evening. It's seven o'clock. So I'm gonna get this uh, daft vlog edited and we'll, we'll see you maybe for one tomorrow or fail that, definitely one on Monday. Cheers, folks. See you, squids. Yeah. <laughs>